Hey art friends, welcome to today's how to. Today we'll be learning how to draw Pinky Piggy. So first let's get started on the left hand side for the mouth and we're going to draw a curved line that arches out. Let's move up on a diagonal now and we'll replicate that curving that out towards the right hand side. On the top we're going to draw an arch line from left to right, connecting that together. Moving in towards the bottom now we're going to curve this line around all the way down and then bringing that up on the right hand side. We're going to move in towards the middle now for the tongue and draw a curved line that arches out and over towards the left. And then flipping over towards the right we're going to curve that around and then down. In the center for the nose now we're going to arch this line up towards the right and then back down. Inside of the nose now, on the right hand side, we're going to draw in a small sesame seed shape, pointing that in the corner. And we'll do the same thing, flipping that over towards the left. Let's draw in the shape of the face now. So on the right hand side for the cheek, we're going to curve this line around, bringing that all the way over and in towards the middle. And then flipping over towards the left, bringing that down on a diagonal, we'll replicate that, connecting that on the bottom. For the top of the head now, in this corner, we're going to curve this up towards the top, bringing that in towards the middle. And then we'll flip over towards the right, bringing that up towards the top, and then back down in the center. For our eye now, on the right hand side, we're going to draw a small oval shape in the center, connecting that towards the side of the nose. And now flipping over towards the left hand side, we're going to draw in another oval shape. On the right hand side, we're going to curve this line up towards the top, bringing that down and then in towards the side of the nose. And now on the left hand side, we're going to arch this line up towards the top, curving that around and then back in towards our nose. For the eyebrows now, on the right hand side, we're going to draw a small curved line that arches down. And we'll do the same thing as we flip over towards the left. On the right hand side, we're going to arch this line out and then back in. And then flipping over towards the left hand side, we'll replicate that moving further down. For the inside of the ears, we're going to arch this line up and then out. And we'll do this on the left hand side as well, making that slightly bigger. Starting on the right hand side now, at that point, we're going to curve this up towards the top and then arching this around and then back in. And now flipping over towards the left hand side, we're going to curve this line up and then down. In the center now we're going to draw on the apple, so we're going to curve this line around, down, and then back in. And then to the right of this we're going to curve this up, around, and then back in towards the middle. In the center let's arch this line out, and then down. Behind this we're going to curve this line up towards the chin, and then starting at that point, we're going to curve this back down. On the right hand side, let's draw a diagonal line in towards our chin. And then flipping over towards the left, we'll replicate that. For the arm, we're going to curve this line around and then up towards the top. And then moving underneath, we're going to curve this line around and then up, ending that on a diagonal. For the apple in the hand now, in the center we're going to curve this line around and then up. On the top starting in the middle we're going to curve a small line that comes out. Underneath let's arch this line around and then up and we're going to leave a small gap. From here now we're going to draw a zigzag pattern as we come all the way across towards the right hand side. And then moving in behind this, we'll replicate that once more. To the right of this, we're going to arch this line around and then in. And then in the middle, we're going to curve this line up, across, and then back down. Let's draw an arch line from left to right. Let's move over now and on a diagonal, we're going to draw a nice big circle for our left foot. For 
our left arm, we're going to curve this line around and then in towards our chin. To the right of this, let's curve this out, dipping this in and then back out and down. And now on the left hand side, we're going to curve this line around and then up. Moving up above this, let's draw a curved line from left to right. For the torso, we're going to arch this line around and then in towards the side of the foot. On the top, we're going to draw a diagonal line. Moving in towards our hand, we're going to curve this line around and then in. Let's draw an arch line, arching this around, connecting that together. And then now we're going to draw a curved line from the top to the bottom. In this open space on the left hand side, we're going to curve the line around and in towards our arm. And now let's draw in our tail. So starting on the left hand side of our foot, let's curve the line around and then up. Moving below this, we'll replicate that, bringing that around and up, ending that at the same height. Moving up above this now, we're going to curve our line that arches all the way around and then back in. And then we're going to replicate that again one more time, bringing this all the way around and then back in on that line. Let's move up one more time. So starting at a point, we're going to curve this line around and then in, leaving a gap. And then starting at that point again, let's curve this around and then back in towards that line. And that is it, that's how you draw Picky Piggy. You can pause the video and color it the way that I have done, or you can change your colors up if you'd like. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel, and also drop a comment below suggesting any more characters that you'd love to learn to draw next. Thanks so much for joining me on today's tutorial, and I will see you all on the next one.